Okay, I promised you that we would paint this little bear. He's been all cleaned up. and uh, So, the only materials you're going to need to paint him is, uh, now the, the type of colors I use on the little figures is uh, cream coat colors. You can buy them in any Walmart uh, or uh, Target or anything like that or any Hobby Lobby. And I think they're 98 cents a, for a tube. And uh, they have quite a few different colors. And uh, they're real easy to obtain. There's nothing special about these type of uh, colors. And uh, I use the little small brushes. That uh, This is Craft Select is what they are. They're not real expensive brushes. And uh, uh, you can buy them in any uh, hobby store. Or uh, uh, I think uh, maybe Walmart carries them. I'm not really sure. But um, okay. Now, what we're going to do is, as you can see, to paint this figure, I've got some water over here, and I'm going to show you. I told you how we uh, work, and this is a black color that I obtained from a uh, Walmart. It's just a regular black. And what I do, a lot of people do, but I I'll shake my shake my black up, and I'll use the cap of it. Let it go into the cap, and I'll use the cap of it where I dip my uh, my paint. Now, put this over here. Now, what I do is I dip my brush in the water, and I sort of uh, mix it up. But this is what I was trying to tell you. Whenever I go to do a figure. You wet the brush, and then you dip it into the paint so that it doesn't go on real strong. See that? It's going on there, but it's going on wet. So when it dries, it's going to give it sort of a, uh, not quite a, a, a plastic color to it, in other words. See, all I'm doing, but I'm dipping my brush in my water. And I'm going around the bear with it. But that's that's so that whenever it dries, it dries with a um, it isn't a real thick coat. Now I may have to go over it a couple of times, but that's okay. You know, you just take your time doing it. But eventually, as you keep dipping the water into the, the paint, the paint down here is going to thin out, and uh, then you won't even have to dip it. So you just like what I'm doing right now. All right. Now, this is going to be a lot of black on him, so, and then we're going to later on. Get a little bit more paint in here. Okay. Thin that out. See, it's not all that difficult. It's just sort of here just a little bit faster see you want the the paint the cover but you don't want it to, you want it to be able to see the wood when you get through you don't want to just paint it to where it uh, is too, it looks like plastic in other words. And, and a lot of times beginners when they first uh, 
uh, start painting their, their items. They paint them way too much. And uh, then I have an antique solution that I dip it in in the end, and I'm going to explain that to you, what it is, which uh, covers it even more. And you see, we've got the, the body in pretty good shape. We'll probably have to give it another coat, but that's all right. As I said, the, uh, the bear is going to be, like I said, you can paint it whatever you want. If you want to paint it brown, that's fine. But uh, in most cases... Uh, like I said, the little bears I sent up to Tennessee, they are, they are black bears. People like them more than anything. I'm going to paint inside the ear the black. But I'm going to paint it a light black so that I can come back in with a golden brown, hit the inside of the ear. When you get around the nose, kind of 